obviously he auditioned um he auditioned on DA for the narrator thing and as soon as me and Jay both heard him we were so happy and we were like yes his voice is perfect and we both both agreed like instantly like um Embasson was our um, first choice at the time but when we heard cheesy we we're like yes we must have him because he's a male and you know british voices and everything we we're like yeah the fangirls love that so we we're like yeah cheesy and he wanted to and i was like yay it's well well well, well that's very um, flattering i think so <laughs> can you hear it that's oh, okay i'm glad you heard that off <laughs> 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 like we both fangirled over your voice that day. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know I feel weird. Anyway. <laughs> that was uh, uh okay. <laughs> I just love how you came in at that perfect moment. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that man. <laughs> don't know I called you man. I don't. I'm do so it. sorry. Uh... It's fine. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was an unusual moment to uh, come into. Um, okay. Uh, how are you two doing? Uh, and, and anyway, I've got to ask. You gonna answer first, or should I answer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be rude. Answer first. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> How are you doing? Okay. Oh, I'm fine. Okay, good. How are you, Cheesy? <laughs> um, fucking glad that you can actually hear me for once. Uh, it says I'm online and tired because I was working for 12 hours today, but I'm I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm so happy and I'm still sorry, but I'm happy. Great. <laughs> oh, yeah. From what I've heard, I don't. Ha I've never played it. I so I don't know. I don't know. I've not. I've not seen it much of it myself. But I mean, I just saw screenshots of it, and I read like a few yeah. um, of the entries and like what you can do in the game and like the options yeah, and like what she it does. Never go in English translation, did it? Nope. Mm. Mm. The best. The best game. The best games made by Japan usually never, never get translated over. Is that true? Because, because it seems like it. Because I'll hear about a lot of uh, really popular, popular games over in Japan, but it would be considered controversial or something in the West, so it never gets translated because they don't think there'd be much of a market for it. Because a lot of people would get upset. Okay. Like actually, there, there's this yeah, one there's... Japanese game developer that makes really controversial games, and they don't even want their games to be bought anywhere outside of Japan. I think they're kind of scared of other countries' criticisms. <laughs> oh, man. Such a waste. <laughs> no, like, because, um, I am going to go, I, I, I am going to go to Japan, uh, at the end of September, so it would be tempting to buy one of their games and, like, bring it home, home with me and then see if I can, like, sell it on the black market, oh. but I think oh, that would be... Oh, dude! I think you need be to go to the move. Yaoi District! The the Yaoi district. I have to say, you're so lucky. The Yaoi district. Oh my god. That's a thing. Yeah, I saw it on this um documentary. Um, like Ellen Page's um gaycation. Like she was going to um Japan and talking to these girls on um, those fu um fu eh, fujoshi. Fujoshi. I don't know how to say it. Those um girls who um watch Yaoi and stuff. Okay. Even though it's taboo in Japan, I'm just like. Oh my god, they're talking about the district and how it's like this um, nine-story building of like all this yaoi stuff. I was like, oh my god, I would die. If <laughs> I what you're talking about is what you're talking about in um, Akihabara. Is that how it's, how it's pronounced? I, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. Because I, 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 I know there is like basically anything anime or nerdish or technology wise you can get there and i did see one documentary on japan where it did show like literally the store full just full of yaoi stuff though oh too bad so that's like, probably what it is yeah because i think the documentary because it was a documentary that was trying to uh make make like try to be funny and stuff but still be in in to still give you information i think it was called like Viva Japan or something. I don't know. It was really, it was really weird, but really funny and really factual. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, I remember it showing that. And they, 
they some they they have like some really big stores for that stuff that even I was like, dear God, why am I not there? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh. Uh, you know, I oh. that kind of reminds me of like the first time I ever bought Yaoi. Um, that was um, in the M- MCM Expo, this Comic Con in in London, and they had um, a a few uh, stalls uh, selling it and. I kind of walked to, uh, towards it and thought, oh, I might buy some, and then walked away again, then walked back, then walked away again a few times because, like, I, I, <laughs> I heard about, like, some people from uh, my school said that they're going to also be at the Comic-Con, and I thought that I don't want them to see me buying Yahweh. But I guess, <laughs> like, if I go to that nine-story building, if it exists, then it'll, it'll be unlikely for them to be there. So that would be good. Oh, Definitely. No, um... Dude, get all the yaoi you can. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, <Funny. laughs> me. 